it's it's really troubling to observe. Boy, is that true? If I hate to I hate to put this to you, but I will nevertheless. And it's only meant for for good, obviously. But if you had to do the raising of them over again, what would you change, if anything? Well, that's a really good question. Um, I don't think I would change much, frankly. Uh, the old days, without the Internet, without the phones, we weren't afforded the self-indulgent luxuries that the modern child has. We, didn't, we just didn't have options. And, and kids today have options, so I, I probably wouldn't have changed anything. You and I have chatted about my daughter that graduated from KU, and you admonished me for sending her to, to college four, four or five years ago. And I think my comeback to you is until Medtronic hires a salesperson without a college degree, what is one to do? Right, 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 right. That's a good discussion, I ha- and I thank you for the call. By the way, I, I used cuddled. It should be cuddled, I think. The word is cuddled. That's, that's what I meant earlier. Uh, Sean, could you put down, I want, to, I want to actually have a subject for an hour. If you could raise your kids over, what would you change? I think that, that would be a, a, very, a very compelling topic. It doesn't have to be... A, a happiness hour or, or even an ultimate issues hour, but I'd like to do it. And so all of you should think about it in, in preparation for, for that show. Okay, all, and uh, Monica, Sandy, Oregon. Hi, Dennis. Thank uh, you so much. I'm grateful to you for all you are and all you do. Thank you. Okay, you, you are so welcome. Um, okay, a couple things. I totally agree with what the gentleman said in the prior call. Um, I, I have, I don't have fear for myself necessarily, nor my husband, because we're both not really fearful people. But I have my anxiety and fears go with my child. And again, in in our current day in society, it's hard to avoid that. I do think with our own, because she was my only child. She had some medical issues when she was younger, so that led me on this kind of probably over-coddling quality. Um, the other issue, however, is that when I was young, my parents, like you had mentioned about your parents earlier, were rather unfazed about where we were, what we did. All, all six of my, or five of my siblings and I talk about that frequently, that we lived in a very free way, and um, so we kind of grew up that way. You know, I, I grew up with, of course, my own set of irrational, irrational fears here and there. But when I was on in high school, I was on a bus going from or to my high school, which was kind of down in what you would consider the ghetto of St. Paul, Minnesota. And um, I remember sitting there passing a billboard, a big billboard that said, I'd rather die on my feet than live on my knees. It's fascinating just, that you that, remember that, that it made such oh, an impression it hit me on you. like a... Uh, like a punch into the chest. Yes, uh, uh, for good reason. It is a great line. I'm familiar with it. I don't know who came up with it, but it is it is great. So here's another insight based on this call. You know, whenever I get calls from Sandy, Oregon, some things just come to my mind. So I wonder how many of you noted that uh, Monica has one child and the, this uh, daughter had medical conditions, so she has a lot of fears and coddled the child as a result. She said that. Whereas she grew up with five siblings, I think that's correct. Maybe that's another factor in the coddling of young Americans, because you can't coddle six kids. You can one or two. Back in a moment. 